Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Voltron Legendary Defender Season 1, Episode 9 called Crystal Venom. So we start off with Allura talks to her holodad and then Karan comes to get her because she needs to rest. Like, she just did the ceremony and she needs to relax. Then we cut over the guard. Crystal is acting kind of weird, but um, Pidge is working on it. And then we cut over the paladins are trying to extract Syndex memories. And it's ticking literally forever. Because they never done it by force before. Then we cut to where Karan gets Lance to help him with the ship repairs. And then the ship gallery is starting to mess up. And, um... <laughs> with um, Honk in it and then Pitch comes in to help and they use the makeshift um, thing to get it, you know, to get it working or to stop it from spewing green goo. And then we cut to where Lance got trapped and taken and um, from when they're cleaning out the pods. Then um, Keith is training and he can't end the sequence and ran for it because he was um, training against a gladiator. And then we cut to where Karan got Lance, and he's starting to freak out a little bit. Because <laughs> he, you know, he, um, bets of them were cleaning the pods. So and when he got around to Keith's pod, he's like, what are you doing in there? He's like, are you sure you didn't trip? He's like, the thing took me in. He's like, are you sure you didn't trip and do something? And it's like, no. Anyway. And then we cut to where, um... So he's starting to freak out. Then we cut to where Laura's dad got to Allura. And Laura's dad got Lance pretending to be Karan and trapped him in an airlock. Then we cut to where um, Shiro is starting to hear things. And then we cut to where Pidge is working on the crystal. And then the gravity kind of shut off with Honk in there as well. And then the airlock opened. But Keith managed to get Lance out because he was fitting off the gladiator. And so um, he opened the airlock door and the gladiator went through the airlock and then got Keith out. I mean, Lance out. Then Allura's dad wants to take her home and so she goes with them. And then Hunk got Pidge to the control panel. But when Lance and Keith got in there, the gravity turned back on they fell down to the ground. And then the game are together so for Shiro and Allura. Then Sindek on um, tries to turn Shiro, but it's all in Shiro's head, so if that's actually happened or not. So literally, Shiro dropped Sindak and ejected him. And then we cut to where Laura's in a trance, and they're going through a wormhole. And we found out that Laura's dad has gone cray cray. And they're going to an exploding star. Then, uh, but uh, Laura sees Altea. Then Karan got uh, Laura to um, snap out of it. Then we cut to where the dad's going off them, and so they need to disconnect him. And he's kind of floating in and out um, between the, I guess, the virus or whatever, and the freaking um, real him. So they're like arguing with each other. So they use the lights to stop the castle, and then, like I said, the eye has gone crazy. And then Alora sees all these memories that she shared with her dad, and then she freaking shattered it. and. Um, Everything went back to normal. And I should get out right before the star exploded. And that was the end of the episode. I really enjoyed this episode. I gave this A+. Plus. It's almost like their Halloween episode where it's kind of creepy. But it's not like in a horrific way or anything. But it was just spooky. But like in a good way. I, it's hard to explain, honestly. But I really, really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, the sacrifice that Laura had to make for her... Um, Team and for herself was super tragic, but I kind of like that, you know, because she didn't really expect that to really happen. Happen, he said, didn't try to like find a fix for like the crystal, uh, guard crystal messing everything up and stuff like that. So I thought that was interesting. Now, first of all, Syndex mine that got into the ship system, we still kind of don't know what happened. Happened, but um, Pitch said like they're gonna run diagnostics and stuff and make sure that it could not happen again. So I thought it was a really, really interesting episode. And that's one of for this video. So this video, please give it a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.